Welcome back to this live of ours. Now that the weather is warming up, I am making my first batch of ice cream. In fact, it's birthday today, so that's why what inspired me to do it. Um, the recipe that I'm going to share with you is a really simple four ingredient recipe. No cooking. I do have a custard type one recipe, but this is this one is just my basic go-to recipe. I don't know where I came from even. I've been making this for probably close to a decade. I love it. It's just a simple recipe. Milk, heavy cream, vanilla, and sugar. You can't get any more <laughs> simple than that. And the taste is fantastic. It's good as a soft serve if you want to serve it right after you make it or put it in the freezer and serve it you know, traditionally hard. Either way, it's fantastic, easy, and a staple during our summer. So, put up the tripod and we'll get it busy. Just four ingredients for this. You need heavy whipping cream. You may use half and half. If you want, it will not be as creamy. Milk, I use whole milk. Again, if you use like a skim milk, it'll be less creamy. Save your brown fat if that's a concern for you, but I would not combine both skim milk and um, half and half. I think you're going to end up with too much of an icier texture. Sugar and vanilla. I am using vanilla extract today. Usually I use vanilla paste, but I don't have very much of it. So, no vanilla paste for today, but either one totally works. And then you need measuring and something to mix it in. I like to do it in these because I, I love my mason jars. If I need to pop it in the fridge for later in the day or a couple days even, it's easy to um, just put a lid on it. I don't have to worry about mess and it, I can just put a lid on it to shake it. Yeah. So something to store it in and then um, your measuring stuff. The other nice thing about using this or a large measuring cup is that it has the measurements on the side. So less things to, that I have to get out and dirty. You need one cup of milk, two cups of whole of heavy whipping cream, or heavy cream, depending on what or your brand, it says different things, which is one pint. Three cups, no, three cups of sugar. That would be a lot. Three quarter cup of sugar. This is about a half cup. So I'm, ow, that did not go as planned. Try again. Put the smaller one. The original recipe called for just a teaspoon of vanilla, but I really love vanilla in my ice cream. So I do a tablespoon. Feel free to do less if that's your preference. And now you can see the sugar's all settled to the bottom. I like to put this back in the fridge for at least an hour. I have my freezer bowl attached. We have the KitchenAid one right now, or the KitchenAid one now, I should say. We used to have a Hamilton Beach, I think it was. I will try to find a link, a link below the closest one, and I'll link this one too. The only reason we switched was because for storage, really. This or a whole stand with two bowls, so it was easier to do this. Um, so. I'm going to, it just pops in. This one is good for whether you have this size mixer, which is, I don't know, the six, it's a professional 600. I think it's a six quart. Um, or the smaller size. It's good for either one. So I'm going to get this assembled. Get it started, and then... Okay, mine is done. Mine takes about 20 minutes. It'll depend on yours, your machine, of course. About 23 minutes. So I'm going to pour this into this handy dandy thing. I love it. It is Tuffalo. I bought it on Amazon and I will link it. I love it um, for storing from it ice cream. Um, 
yeah, nice and slender. It can fit into your door depending on what kind of a refrigerator you have, but it doesn't fit on mine. I love that once this is hardened, it's easy to get a really good scoop. Like that's one length is a perfect scoop size. So there's my finished product. I put in about, I don't know, half the jar. So like a cup and a half or so of um, toppings. I see yours. That's good, Matthew. 